Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we are going to cover a little known trick which can be used to efficiently access the last used submenu command to speed up your workflow. You may or may not know, but to repeat the last command, we can just hit the G key on the keyboard. That's all well and good for precisely the last action you did, but let me show you another way to work with this example. Let me just go ahead and make a cube, and I will just select a face and head up to Edit Mesh extrude and just drag it up a little bit like so and maybe if we go up to mesh smooth we can get this beautiful result like so cool so we've performed two commands extrude and then smooth extrude is stored under the edit mesh and smooth is stored just under the mesh menu to perform these commands again we can just middle mouse click on the menu drop down wherever that tool is stored and we can keep doing this until our hearts are content. This is just a quick video that I thought would be helpful. For the extrude and smooth tools, there's definitely more convenient ways to access them via the menus and shortcuts. So this is probably a little bit overly simplistic, but knowing how to do this can be handy, since if you're repeating a specific action a lot, it's handy to not have to do those extra clicks. Like if, for example, you're in the plugin manager, closed it, but you wanted to hop back into it quickly, you can just use the middle mouse button and click the Windows menu and it will pop right back up for you. If you like my content and find it helpful, supporting the channel on Patreon will help me to continue to bring you the content you enjoy. Well, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.